I've got Tasha in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Tasha, how are you? I'm doing good, and yourself? Oh, I'm focused and not finished, young lady. How can I help you? Yes, I'm calling because I heard you guys talking about the student loans earlier. Uh-huh. And um, I have two children that are, well, they're young adults that are entering college um, in the fall. One has already completed school okay. one year. Uh-huh. And so we took out a parent plus loan. He chose a private school. And um, previously I had taken out a parent plus loan for my daughter to also finish because she had maximized her loans. Mm-hmm. And so we had to take out a parent plus loan. So that's already two parent plus loans that we already taken out. And now my other son is getting ready to enter. So we're looking, and both of them chose private schools to start in the fall. And both of them are private schools, which we would have to take out parent plus loans again for them each. So I didn't um, save up for them for college when they were younger. And also when they graduated, we didn't do much with scholarships and things like that, so we didn't take advantage of that. So I think that's why I went on and did the Parent PLUS loan. But um, me and my husband are trying to get out of debt now, but with these Parent PLUS loans, they're causing us to be more in debt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And you know what? I appreciate you hitting the nail on the head, Tasha, because a lot of parents end up feeling that guilt um, and they end up rationalizing taking out these Parent PLUS loans. Uh, and, and because you think you're doing your kids a favor. So looking at this, before we even dig in on that, how much is this private school? How, what's it cost per year? Oh, it's like um, almost 40000 Okay. All right. So it's forty around 40000 for both of them. So tell me this. I'm going to shift real quick, and there's a reason. So 40000 for one of them, and the other one is about 40000 too. Okay. So how much in Parent PLUS loans have you all taken out thus far? Thus far, we've taken out um, a 17 and a 22, so it was like already 39000 yeah. already. Okay, all right. Now, let's pause here, and let's go to you and your husband's situation. How long have you all been married? Six years. Six years. And mm-hmm. what's your household income? 83. Okay. And what kind of debt do you all have? Break it down for me. Okay. For him, he doesn't have much debt. He, his is only like about twenty thousand. But for me, I did have. I went to a private school too. Mm-hmm. But that's why I'm trying to tell my children, hey, you know, go to something where it's affordable, where you can go. And How much in student loan debt do you have? I, yeah, no one told me. How much about, do you have, Tasha? Oh, oh, you talking about total debt that we have? The student loan debt. How much student loan debt do you have? Oh, student loan debt. Um, we have. I have $167,411. Okay, I'm sorry. I blacked out a little bit while you were talking right there. Tell me that number again. $167,411. Uh-huh. That's what I thought you told me. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's student loan for you. You said your husband's got 20000 What is the 20000 on a vehicle? What is it? He has Student loans. Here's his eighteen thousand. Okay. Is there what else? Is that it? Well, for student loans, yes. Okay. Keep going. You got credit card debt. Yes, we do. How much? Our total debt with um with everything is like three hundred and seventeen thousand six hundred and twenty five dollars. Okay. How much in credit? That's with a mortgage too. Yeah. Okay. How much is credit card debt? Um, credit card debt is probably about. 30000 Okay. All right. So l- looking at this, Tasha, you have 167,411 reasons why your kids need to wake up and look at this scenario. Do you follow me? See, mm-hmm. you've, you've walked through this. You've lived this. You have this souvenir of student loan debt that's hanging, that's, that's driving you insane. Let's break that cycle. Okay, the school that they're going to isn't going to save the day. It's the quality of who they are and what they're standing for and what they're going about. So we I want you to help in this, like whatever you've signed on for, you've signed on for it for this for this upcoming semester, because I know the ink is dry and the paperwork is done. But here's the deal. They're going to have to get focused on looking for scholarships and grants if they want to be there. This is not this is not something that that we want to pay it forward, and and I say this with the, that kind of attitude because so many people believe the school you go to is going to save the day, and it's not. If anything, what it's going to do is cause delay. 
All right. It delays people to be able to follow through on the baby steps and to get intentional. And so, again, young people, I don't expect them to know. But parents, I want you to be able to be real with them. And again, with what you have going on, no, because all your kids are going to do is continue down this path. I got to continue it. Now, you and your husband, you all got an appetite for debt. And we're going to have to kind of kick that to the curb. Right. And we got to be clear. And I also want to encourage you and challenge you on, be careful with your pronouns, Tasha. You said he's only got 20,000 and that you have. No, no, you got a pronoun problem. We, right? Speak French. We, you all. You said I do. It means we do. It means you guys are dealing with this together. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to push you uh, a free gift your way. And I'm going to send you to Financial Peace University. And I want you and your husband to go together. Because, yes, you've got a big chunk of student loan debt, 167000 but it can get fixed, but only if you fix it. There's not a government program. There's not a, anything out there that's going to save the day. And I want you to hear this, because when we decide to stand up for ourselves, we got our own cape ball in America, and we begin to realize that, hey, we can take charge of this. And it ain't going to be easy. Never said that, but it will be worthwhile. So, Tasha, we're going to send you Financial Peace University. I want you and your husband to get in there. But I want you to have a conversation with your young people ASAP so they can wake up and look at this and have a different opportunity moving forward. Have the conversation you wish someone would have had with you.